Right now, sexual violence in Nashville is up more than 20% compared to this time last year. With reported rape cases on the rise, our Joylin Bukovac talked to a self-defense expert about ways you can keep yourself safe. As temperatures are warming up and more people are getting out, self-defense instructor Barb Jordan is urging everyone to know what to do if someone grabs you. If you can understand that if you were ever attacked, especially as a woman, if you're gonna fight a man in his arms and his chest and his body, they're gonna outpower you. But if you know how to put a thumb into the eye or the palm of your hand into the nose, a fist into the throat or a fist or a knee into the groin, those four places could give you the distance that you need to get free. Jordan says there are things you can do to make yourself less of a target. It starts with keeping your ears free of headphones while walking a trail. I want to hear you at all. Jordan showed me just how quickly someone can sneak up behind you when you're wearing earbuds, even if you don't have any music playing. Awareness is the key, keeping your ears open. When you're out on a trail like this, you can't cover your ears. Your ears are your greatest sense. Jordan says it's best to go on walks with a group and carry pepper gel with you to stay safe. Plus, be mindful of your surroundings from the moment you park your car. Awareness is a big key. Trusting your intuition. We know, specifically as women, when something's wrong. And it doesn't have to be defined. Somebody might ask you, what'd they say? What'd they do? And you might say, nothing. I got a bad feeling. That's it. Jordan is reminding everyone to walk away if anyone makes you feel uncomfortable. Reporting in Nashville, I'm Jordan Bukovac, WSMV4. Police